In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to control the speed of a DC motor using an NPN transistor. So here we have an external power supply to supply the power for the DC motor. And we're using the NPN transistor as a switch. So we've got the emitter side of the NPN transistor attached to the negative side of our power supply. We've got the collector side of the transistor connected to one side of our, our motor. And the base pin on the NPN transistor is connected to pin 9 on our Arduino. So the idea here is that when a positive voltage is outputted via pin 9 through this resistor here to the base leg of the transistor, it allows current to flow through. So that means we can use a much larger voltage to supply to our DC motor than that which the Arduino can handle. And this is a good idea too, because if you draw too much current through your Arduino, you can actually end up damaging your USB port or your Arduino. So let's see how this works. Um, just before we do, also here we have a diode and a small capacitor in parallel with our motor and the diode is acting as a snubber diode or a flyback diode and that helps to deal with some of the energy that's left over when the motor is switched off and the magnetic field collapses and the capacitor there helps to absorb some of the noise from the DC motor. Sometimes you see that um, some motors have a small capacitor uh, soldered across their terminals there to deal with that noise. Okay, here we have a DC motor which I've pulled apart. And you can see in here, we've got the two fixed magnets. So we've got the north and south pole. And then we've got the shaft, which has got the coils attached to it. And it's a little bit hard to see here, but the commutator just on the end here and very difficult to see I can't get that focused but that this one has three sections to it so that helps for a smoother transition and on the bigger motors um, the commutator has more sections and more coils so it can allow the motor to turn a lot more smoothly okay so let's load our code up and see how this goes Okay, here we have the sketch for this tutorial and quite a simple little sketch. So we start with declaring a constant integer. So we don't need to change this integer throughout the program so we can make it a constant int. And so we've declared that motor pins is pin nine. So we've named this value variable motor pins and set it to pin nine on our Arduino. In the setup here, we have this code here, which you haven't seen before. So what this does is start the serial monitor. So starting serial communication with the Arduino. So serial.begin, and we've got the board rate there set at 9600. So that's the communication speed that we're gonna to use to communicate with our Arduino via the serial port. Underneath that serial.print line. So this is going to print this line here. And we wouldn't want to put that into the loop because it would print that line over and over and over again. We only want to print this once. And then under that inside the loop, we've got an if statement here. So what this is doing is seeing if there is serial available. So if serial communication is available, we then want to read the serial and put whatever comes in into this variable here. So char the char variable, so char type variable ch. So we're listening out for that. If ch is bigger than or equal to zero, the zero ch char, and it is smaller or equal to the character nine, then we know it's a number between zero and nine that is being typed in. And then we can go to this next line here that executes as part of that um, condition. Um, then we could create this integer speed and we want to use the map function. 
So what we're doing here is taking this character between 0 and 9 and convert it, converting that to an integer between 0 and 255. So if you remember, 0 is the smallest um, value that we can take in PWM, and 255 is the largest value. And then what we're doing is analog writing that. So we're using the analog write function to create a PWM pulse on pin 9 at the value that is returned into this function via the variable speed. So in this case, if we typed a 9 in, it would give us 255. It would convert it to 255, and then it would return it into the analog write function as 255. And then the next lines here, just basically print that to the serial um, monitor. So the speed of the motor is, and in this case, it would return in 255 as the speed. If this condition isn't met, then we go to the else statement, and um, this is printed to the serial monitor, unexpected character. Okay, so let's just see that in action. So we go to the tools, menu and we go down to serial monitor and once we start that you can see that that first line has then printed to the serial monitor if we type in a one you can see that the motor is now on a very low speed okay we can see that the motor speed is now 28 we type in a five here is the motor at half speed our motor speed is 141, which is about midway. And then if we type in a nine, here is the motor at full speed. We get motor at full speed, 255. If we type a zero, then our motor stops. Then our motor is stopped. And if we type some other character, then we get unexpected character. Okay.